Hello and welcome. This is Ageless John back with our Java tutorial. In the last episode, I shared some information about the features of Java, and I talked about the importance of classes, objects, and methods, which are fundamental to using and understanding the object oriented programming side of Java. One of the key aspects there being that you could look at Java as programming with classes and objects. In Java, definition and word usage is very specific and incredibly important. I'm not going to compare Java to any other type of programming nor draw any parallels between the different languages in Java because I think it's one of the few things that really messed me up uh, when I started learning. My teacher used what's uh, sort of a side-by-side -side comparison of the words that according to the, what the teacher thought was similar to other things, other programming languages that I had never seen nor experienced. But yet this terminology is stuck forever in my mind and continues to confuse me. I still have a problem talking accurately about Java because of my tendency to mix up appropriate words with similar but not totally accurate words. In my opinion, the correct usage of Java terminology is very important in your ability to study, understand, and share Java knowledge. Another important aspect of learning Java is learning the conventions, also referred sometimes as Java style guidelines. I will get into conventions and the style guidelines as they come along because naming and spacing conventions are very important and are also some of the very first conventions that we're going to encounter. In this episode, I'm going to discuss the three steps of Java programming, creating, compiling, and executing, and I'm going to explain Hello World and its parts. To create the program, you just have to type it out in the text editor in the proper way. How to do this is the main focus of this tutorial. After having typed out the code, then you compile it, because Java is a compiled language, so it has to be compiled. At the command prompt, type in Java C and the name of the program with its .java extension. This takes the Java language you have written and translates it into a computer language version. If you look in the AAA folder, after you compile a Java program, you will notice a copy of your program with both the .java ending and the newly compiled .class ending of the same name. After the program is compiled, it can be executed or run. At the command prompt, this is done by typing Java, followed by the name of the Java program without the extension. Notice and remember that Java is case sensitive. Hello World and Hello World with a capital W are not the same. Some general housekeeping tips, you should be able to change the font, font size, and other aspects of your command prompt by right-clicking the top window border, then selecting Properties, then selecting the Font tab. Also, if you are tired of changing the directory every time you go into command prompt, you can order your shortcut to open a specific location. Just use the information provided here. Right-click your shortcut, then click on Properties in the shortcut tab and in the target line change that to what you see here. Now let's look at the code itself. Open up the code you wrote earlier in Notepad++. In Hello World the keyword class begins the class definition for a class named Hello World. Hello World is the class. I'm going to use a couple identifiers in Hello World You'll see others later, too, uh, in other programs. Just keep in mind that any class, variable, field, method, or constructor has to be given a valid name and cannot be a Java keyword or a literal. See the links below for more information on what keywords and literals are. Cannot start with a digit, but it could be made of letters, digits, underscores, and dollar signs. In Java, the name of the source file must be the name of the class, so you'll always be able to find what you need to put into your command prompt after Java C by looking at the written code. Code for this class appears between the first and last braces. Braces are often called curly brackets. Public static void main is referred to as the main method. Every application must contain a main method. 
Main is the method for this program, and any executable code will be found within this main method between the braces of the method. In this program, it is the second and third braces. System.out.println, hello world, uses the system class from the core library to print hello world to the screen. This library is the application programming interface, or API. Java uses a lot of this material and it's one of the reasons that Java can be considered an easy language because so many of the things that are done in Java are just a reuse of the classes found in the API. The words hello world are what is referred to as a string and all strings must be surrounded by a pair of double quotes and the text would be printed as it is without the double quotes. Let me talk about the comments next. Comments are super important always make more comments about your program than you think you could ever possibly need. Three things of particular importance to be aware of. One is to be professional. Silly or inappropriate comments seem fun at the time, but if you get into the habit of doing this, one day it could be that it comes back to haunt you. If you ever have someone you are trying to impress or someone who's looking at your code with perhaps the idea of hiring you, it could be bad. Two, and if you ever work as a programmer, you'll most likely be part of a team of programmers working together on a coding project. To get them to really hate you, don't put in any comments. Third, you will forget what you are doing and why. Think about it. What did you have for lunch last Friday? No idea? Now try and think of several hundred lines of code that you leave your computer for a week while you, say, go to the beach. And when you come back and try to pick up where you left off, I personally would have problems remembering what in the world I was doing, so comments can help a lot there too. There are three types of comments that I'm going to show you. The first uses the forward slash and the asterisk to start the comments, then everything after the asterisk is considered to be a comment. This comment has to be closed or it continues to run on until the end of the program. Notice how every line starts with a single asterisk and that there is plenty of spacing and everything is lined up. And this is part of the con conventions I mentioned earlier. This is probably not the most important convention, and as long as it looks neat and is readable to the programmer and to anyone else reading it, it should be okay. The second is similar to the first, but includes another asterisk immediately after the first asterisk. The second asterisk is there to indicate the comment is meant to be used by Java Doc Tool. There is a link below if you're interested in this, but I am not going to use this style of comment. The last type of comment is the use of double forward slashes for a single line comment. And this will probably be the most used comment type. It can also be tacked onto the end of a line for a short comment. So be sure to go to the website, work on the provided homework for this lesson. Check out the links below for more information. Again, this is H. John teaching you about Java. Glad you could join me. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you around.